wasn't I? Oh, that was all kerfuffle. It was, not it? Morning, everybody. Not taking youngest to school. Mummy is taking youngest to school, so. Look, I got six out of six. Six Let's out of six. And um, that's how many I'm meant to have. That's what you're meant to have out of six. You're One, meant to have six two, out of six. three, four, five, six. More swings coming at you today. This one, very up and down, she says. So we're gonna look at ideas around that. Answer to yesterday's question, why do golf commentators say such crazy stuff? No one really had an answer. I think the general gist was really that lots of them are, you know, relatively old and kind of stuck in their ways, really. Today's question then, hit in the comment section up down below. Remember to hit that, hit that thumbs up down there. Don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button as well. Give it a click, 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 click. Who's gonna win the Masters this year? Come on, let's see ya. Who's gonna win at Augusta? Down there, let's hear it. So let's explore today's swing. We're gonna start with some posture. We're gonna relax arms and how far back uh, she is on her heels to start us off, just to try and make some more dynamic movements. Now she struggles with up and down kind of ideas. Here we go, so up and down ideas. Um, she also struggles to control the angles of the club and hand path, which is why it looks like it's going so far left. So we're gonna change a few things in here. We're going to change setup. We're going to certainly probably, I think we're going to look at grip as well, left hand grip ideas, and then give you some ideas about how to turn your body. She's told me she works out, she tries to keep fit. So I don't mean there's a strength issue. I think there's a few setup issues and then concept ideas as well. Right, I'm off to the range. I think I've got some parcels and I've got to go in my car because I've no idea what size they really are so I might not be able to get them back on the bike. Right, first ideas have to be around grip. Let's get this club in this part of your fingers and uh, palm not up in here. Now, I can't see if it absolutely is in those positions, but from the way you're stirred, so arms out, bum a long way behind your heels, very natural for the club to sit up through here. Let's get it down through here. I'm gonna get you feeling of throwing the energies more this way at the moment you're trying to hit the ball more this way so you're getting energies going kind of this way through the shaft we need to get them spinning out to the end it's so much easier to do that from there then the next idea let's get your shoulders ahead of your toes more you're very much looking like you're on your heels bum is a long way behind your heels it then has to push the hands out in front of you this way now from here i feel really weak i do feel like to get energy through the club i would also start doing these kind of movements where again we're going to try and get you turning in a more kind of energies out to the end idea so posture let's get your shoulders ahead of your toes feel like your pressure is much more on the balls of your feet middle of your feet so I put the club on the ground here and what I'm going to do is feel some different positions me pushing down on my toes where I roll over back on my heels which is where you are and then starting from a position where I'm really squishing that shaft into the ground you'll feel how different that feels for you from there, with that better hold, it opens up the door to give you some better turning actions to hopefully get you delivering the face and club puff a little better. Right, done at the range, and I've picked up, the lovely people at TaylorMade have sent me one of these limited edition hats you see DJ wearing, and I've also got a TP5 and a TaylorMade TP5X golf ball as well. Which one of you lucky winners can win? You can have a go with one of the balls, let me know what you think, and you can win this hat. All you gotta do to win is make sure you hit the thumbs up button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then head over to Twitter, at 4GolfOnline, links will be down below and give me a follow. One of my followers will win the hat. 
in the balls. We'll announce the winner tomorrow, shall we? Let's answer your questions. Hey, bro, got a quick question for you on hybrids. Should I be hitting them like an iron or should I be hitting them like a fairway wood? And where should I put the ball in my setup? Keep up the good work. Love the vlogs with you and Coach Locky. Hybrid, should they be played like an iron or a wood? They can be played by both, it doesn't matter. I mean, I do play my hybrid with a downward hit where I play my driver with an upward hit. The ball position with my hybrid is where I would put, say, a five iron. So not as far forward as a driver and not as far back as maybe a nine iron. It's simply to do with how much launch you get from most people. So some people find a hybrid really easy to launch in the air, so they might play it more like they play a seven iron. I like like to kind of feel like I'm sweeping my hybrid even though I am hitting down so I like it in that forward section but the thing with the hybrid that you've got to practice more is my ball position is dynamic so I move it subject to what shot I want to get what launch I want to get and there's the skill try and get out of those habits of thinking is there a right or wrong ball position because there isn't it's so much more about getting a functional position for the shot you're trying to play because the beauty of a hybrid is you can play it in different situations Situations and different situations might require um, some different setup positions. So get out there and experiment, put it forward, see how high it goes, put it back, see how low it goes, and then see in turn what kind of shape shots you get when you're moving that ball position around. Will make you much more skilled than having it in the so-called right position. Off to school pickup. Next drill you can do inside, I just have a wedge here. To get the feeling of moving your body differently, has to come around the way you put energy through the club. So you want to move this way. Here. So almost grip out in front of me, head behind me, and then get the club over your shoulder. This way. And then you want to flip this relationship this way, which is what's sending that club left. So you use your body to do that back down. Now you don't want to hit yourself so that when you do start pulling up and out to try and send some energies towards the target. And not send the club at yourself. We've got to stop that. Flip it around. So take a club, just the wedge, hold it down as close as you can get on the metal where it doesn't hit your tummy. So we have a little gap here. And with just with your left hand, I want you to feel what you're in that posture we talked about earlier, that you're getting that club to go behind you, so you're turning your body to set the club behind you. But end of this club can point somewhere down and by the ball if you like. And then on the way through, I want you to feel like you get the club coming back out, shooting a kind of laser out behind you. And now I want you to do this relatively fast. And once you feel like you can do this, feel like you make a few bigger swings. Doing the same thing. Still getting the feeling of that club changing directions on the way back. So this way, built around you not coming up, and then on the way through, this way, built on you still feeling like you're over. Your ideas of being able to get the club to spin around itself more this way is going to transform the way you hit the ball. And it's going to transform the way you feel you put energy through the club, which will completely change the way you need to use your body. You use your body at the moment to make the movement you use relatively functional. And I use that term loosely because I think you could be loads more functional than you are now. So again, even if you did this at the range, make sure the club doesn't hit your tummy, turn it behind you, point in the grip end somewhere down near the ball, then get the grip end pointing off behind you here, say in line with your feet, while getting your body just to turn, feeling like you're staying over if you like, so if you like staying over, then you can get on the range, go to the top of the grip and try and get the same feelings. The real fix here is getting you to do that drill two minutes, five minutes every day. It will completely change your mind on how you should be swinging using that club, but that's got to come around that good hold and that good posture as well. Found this one. Littlest has gone off with mummy to a hearing test. So it's just me and Bra. I think we're gonna play some FIFA when we go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Call that Bra? Yep. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to win the hat, make sure you thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, and head over to Twitter at 4GolfOnline and give me a follow. Someone, somewhere, will win. I will win this hat. I'm being sat on. What you need? Me. What are you doing? Me. What button should they hit, Ola? Subscribe button. That's the button.